Okay, so as you can see, Rich got the, the head out and we located the holding tank right there. It's got its own nice little uh, gauge built in because you can see it. So it's built in behind this bulkhead in the head. But the next problem is, we got those lines off, is that down in here is the overboard discharge and the macerator pump, okay? And then that line goes up, it comes from the tank, and if you look in here, see it comes out of there as a 90, and then it goes up through a vented loop, and then down over here, it follows this hose, and it goes to the macerator pump. So that's going to require some flushing of the tank. It was reported empty, but these lines are always going to stay full of sewage. So what are you going to do? It's going to contaminate the boat. It's going to be an issue. So I'm going to dump in a couple, make sure the tank is empty. Then I'm going to dump in a couple gallons of water with some bleach and flush these lines and try to sanitize it a little bit before we cut those lines out of there. And um, I think I want to do a tech tip first on determining if the tank and the lines smell, but you'll get to, you'll get to sort that out. The next problem was trying to get the macerator pump to run. We got a little spaghetti here and I can't get any power to this distribution panel or to the distribution bus in the head. So I need to get this task done. I want to be out of here and start summer vacation. So I took a pair of jumper cables from the house batteries which were charged and I just ran them down here. I yarded out the uh, macerator wire which was easy enough to find and just temporarily put power to it so that I could get that tank pumped and get those lines removed. So it's set. It works. I'm going to power this up. We just put in that uh, couple of gallons of water. We know the pump works. We got bleach. We're sanitizing. I think we're ready to go for it. We got our catch basin down there. And so what I'm going to do is power this up and then we're going to go see what's going on here. Well, you can hear it working. I had wondered about that. Listen to that terrible noise. Let me reach in here. So, hopefully the pump will prime now. There it goes. Hear it all quieted down. The vented loop, which I don't even think is required on this installation because the holding tank is above water line, is on the wrong side. You can't put a vented loop on a suction side because it just caused all that air to be ingested into the system and it never primed. But the good news is, sounds like we're working. It shouldn't take long to pump out two gallons and we'll hear the, the pump change. And then hopefully it'll be less disgusting when we cut. Oops. There it goes. You can hear that we've got uh, an empty tank, which is a good feeling. So we can get the rest of the smelly stuff out of here. Yeah, that vented loop's got to go or be put on the discharge side of this pump for sure. Okay, scallywags. I think yeah, we're working. Um, let's talk about what just happened there with emptying that tank and our macerator pump, okay? I know this is way down the road and spring is when we do our sanitation class, but <clears throat> teachable moments at the end of this video. So... Uh, We'll get the rest of that system disconnected, and uh, it definitely had some bad smells. Tech tip 28. Number 28 is the one about all these smells. Make sure you check it out. It, it, yeah, we had sewage sitting in lines. The lines need to be replaced. It's all gone. Boat will be smelling better. But why did that loud noise happen, and why did that pump suck air? Well, like everything, there's usually a reason, and... I suspect when this boat was built, like many other boats, it had the, the toilet, had a Y valve, and it went overboard or into the holding tank. Or maybe just overboard and they added the holding tank down the road. I don't know. But <clears throat> what had happened then is along the way, um, and when you have that set up, by the way, get your Calder book out, 4th edition, page 650, okay? 
He's got great illustrations and stuff. I'm not going to cover all of this. If you want to know how and why you put in vented loops, if you want to know, like, from Healed Waterline, where they need to go. Anyways, Nigel does a great job, so check it out in his book. But, essentially, I would assume what happened was they had that. So, in the hull of the boat, this is the side of our boat here, you know, the through hull is down about this level, and... The tank, the toilet sat on a platform here, and the tank was up on the side, something like this. It sits in behind the cabinet, okay? So water line is somewhere up in here, and yes, if you've got a toilet sitting below water line, you definitely need a vented loop, and if you're going to discharge overboard with it, you need a vented loop to keep the ocean from siphoning back in. So I suspect somewhere along the way they changed that system out and went with a much better system which is the way most boats now are plumbed where we just throw the the affluent right into the holding tank directly from the toilet and then if your tank is full and you can't get to a deck pump out then you're going to use the macerator pump but you can't do it this way what they did is it came out and went through that vented loop right here let air in down to a pump and then the pump went overboard well when we turn this pump on that's when I heard all that in air rushing in. You heard it, and we couldn't get a prime on this dip tube, which comes all the way down to the bottom of our tank. So the proper way to do this, if you're if you got a situation like this, is you don't do it like this. What you gotta do is you come out of the tank to your pump. And then you got to go from your pump, if you're worried, if, if this was below waterline, which it's not, then you have to go up above the maximum healed waterline and put your vented loop here and go overboard. Okay, and that would prevent siphoning. So that system was kind of messed up. I know it's a little early on, but when you get into sanitation class, this will make a lot more sense. So anyways, we're glad that that system's out of the way. Next, we're going to get rid of that sink box and open up access so we can remove the motor thanks for watching